Skin cancer is a significant health concern, especially for seniors. As we age, our skin undergoes changes that can increase our risk of developing skin cancer. Basal cell carcinoma, or BCC, is the most common type of skin cancer in older adults. It's crucial for seniors to be aware of this condition and take preventive measures. Early detection and treatment are key to managing BCC effectively. This essay will discuss the prevalence of BCC in seniors, risk factors, and the importance of prevention. We will delve into age-related skin changes that make seniors more vulnerable to skin cancer. Additionally, we will explore the impact of sun exposure, coexisting health conditions, and social determinants on skin health. By understanding the factors involved, seniors can take proactive steps to protect their skin and overall well-being. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to skin health. Basal cell carcinoma, or BCC, is a type of skin cancer that originates in the basal cells. Basal cells are located in the deepest layer of the epidermis, the outermost layer of skin. These cells are responsible for producing new skin cells as old ones die off. BCC occurs when these basal cells undergo abnormal growth and division. BCC typically appears as a pearly or waxy bump on sun-exposed areas of the skin, such as the face, ears, neck, scalp, shoulders, and back. It can also present as a flat, flesh-colored or brown scar-like lesion. BCC grows slowly and rarely spreads to other parts of the body. However, if left untreated, it can grow into nearby tissues and cause damage. Early diagnosis and treatment of BCC are essential to prevent complications. Treatment options for BCC vary depending on the size, location, and characteristics of the tumor. Common treatment methods include surgical excision, Mohs micrographic surgery, cryotherapy, and radiation therapy. Basal cell carcinoma is particularly prevalent among seniors. Studies have shown that the incidence of BCC increases with age, with the highest rates occurring in individuals over the age of 65. This increased risk is attributed to several factors, including cumulative sun exposure and age-related changes in the skin. Seniors have had a longer time to accumulate sun damage throughout their lives, making them more susceptible to developing BCC. Moreover, as we age, our skin becomes thinner, less elastic, it produces less melanin, the pigment that protects our skin from the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays. These age-related skin changes make seniors more vulnerable to the damaging effects of UV radiation, increasing their risk of BCC and other skin cancers. Aging skin and sun exposure are two major risk factors for basal cell carcinoma in seniors. As mentioned earlier, aging skin undergoes various changes that make it more susceptible to skin cancer. These changes include thinning of the epidermis, reduced collagen and elastin production, decreased melanin production, and a weakened immune response. Sun exposure is the most significant risk factor for BCC. Ultraviolet radiation from the sun damages the DNA in skin cells, leading to mutations that can cause skin cancer. Cumulative sun exposure over a lifetime is a major contributor to BCC development in seniors. People who have had frequent sunburns, especially during childhood and adolescence, are at increased risk. It's never too late to protect your skin from the sun. By adopting sun safe practices, seniors can reduce their risk of BCC and other skin cancers. Age-related skin changes and vulnerabilities. As we age, our skin undergoes a natural process of thinning, losing elasticity, and becoming more fragile. These changes are primarily caused by a decrease in collagen and elastin production. 
essential proteins that provide structural support and elasticity to the skin. The thinning of the epidermis, the outermost layer of skin, makes it easier for UV radiation to penetrate deeper into the skin and damage DNA. Reduced collagen and elastin production leads to wrinkles, sagging skin, and a loss of firmness. These changes can make it more difficult to detect skin cancer early on. Furthermore, aging skin produces less melanin, the pigment that gives our skin color and protects it from the sun's harmful rays. This decrease in melanin production makes seniors more susceptible to sunburns and skin damage. Chronic sun exposure and its long-term effects. Chronic sun exposure over a lifetime is a major contributor to skin cancer, including basal cell carcinoma. UV radiation from the sun damages the DNA in skin cells, leading to mutations that can cause uncontrolled cell growth in the development of cancer. The effects of sun exposure are cumulative, meaning that the more time you spend in the sun without protection, the greater your risk of developing skin cancer. Sunburns, especially during childhood and adolescence, are particularly damaging to the skin and increase the risk of BCC later in life. It's crucial to protect your skin from the sun's harmful rays by seeking shade, wearing protective clothing, and using sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or higher. Limiting sun exposure during peak hours from 10 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon is also essential. Coexisting health conditions and immune function. Certain coexisting health conditions and a weakened immune system can increase the risk of developing skin cancer, including BCC. People with weakened immune systems, such as those who have undergone organ transplantation or have certain autoimmune diseases, are more susceptible to skin cancer. Conditions that affect the immune system, such as HIV, AIDS, and certain types of leukemia, can also increase the risk of skin cancer. It's important for seniors with underlying health conditions to be aware of their increased risk and take extra precautions to protect their skin from the sun. Regular skin checks by a dermatologist are crucial for early detection and treatment of skin cancer in seniors with coexisting health conditions. Social determinants of skin health in seniors. Social determinants of health such as socioeconomic status, access to healthcare and community support can significantly impact skin health in seniors. Seniors with lower socioeconomic status may have limited access to healthcare, including preventive skin cancer screenings and timely treatment. Access to transportation, affordable healthcare, and culturally competent providers are essential for ensuring equitable skin health outcomes for all seniors. Community support and resources such as senior centers and community health programs can provide valuable information and assistance with skin cancer prevention and care. Addressing social determinants of health is crucial for improving skin health equity and reducing disparities in skin cancer incidence and mortality among seniors. Prevention and holistic care for aging skin. Prevention and holistic care are paramount for maintaining healthy aging skin and reducing the risk of skin cancer in seniors. Adopting a comprehensive approach that encompasses sun protection, regular skin checks, and a healthy lifestyle is key. Sun protection should be a daily habit, even on cloudy days. This includes seeking shade, wearing protective clothing like long sleeves, pants, and wide-brimmed hats, and using sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or higher. Regular skin self-exams and professional skin cancer screenings by a dermatologist are crucial for early detection and treatment. Seniors should be familiar with their skin and look for any new or changing moles, growths, or sores. 
a healthy lifestyle that includes a balanced diet, regular exercise and stress management can also contribute to overall skin health and well-being. By taking a proactive and holistic approach to skincare, seniors can enjoy healthy, radiant skin for years to come.